and welcome to our What's New in Canva for Education webinar designed just for our Canva for Education community. Today, you'll get a first look at our latest and greatest features and learn how to put them to use. It's always nice to kick off with an intro. I'm Lena, your host. I am a content strategist here at Canva, and I'm joining you from Houston, Texas in the United States. It's starting to look a lot more like fall, and boy, are we so excited for the cooler temperatures. I used to be a classroom teacher for over 10 years and have been empowering educators in ed tech for the past six. In the chat, please feel free to share where you're joining us from, what you teach, or what teams you support. Oh, wow. We have some really special people joining us from all around the world. Thank you so much for joining us for this new What's New edition. We all have different starting points when it comes to using a product that we love, and we'd love to hear how familiar you are with Canva for Education. Let us know in the chat. Are you a super user where you're using Canva every single day for yourself, or are you just new and learning what Canva for Education is, and you're more familiar or less familiar, and you're a new user? Just throw those answers in the chat. We just love to hear from you because a great thing about Canva is anyone can start anywhere. Wow, we have some super users and we have users from all along the scale. And that's what's so nice about today's webinars. We'll be focusing on everyone. Now, today's topics is we're going to talk about what is Canva for education, what's new in Canva, some new educator resources, and how to Canvify your resources. What I like to say, tips and tricks. And you'll have to hold on just for a bit longer to learn more about that. Let's kick it off with what is Canva for education. Canva for Education is your all-in-one visual communications platform. Canva for Education was launched just a few years ago, back in 2020. The Canva product has been along for a lot longer, but the Canva for Education piece geared just for educators is a little bit newer. And did you know with that, that there are 70 million students and teachers using Canva monthly and that there are 1.5 billion designs created by our educator community. That means the templates, that means some element collections, all created specifically just for you. And Canva is used in 190 countries with over 600,000 schools and over 6,000 school districts using Canva today. And the cherry on top is that Canva for Education is 100% free for K-12 schools and systems. Canva for Education is here to empower everyone to create, collaborate, and communicate in the classroom and beyond. And that means everyone, from your administrators all the way through your entire school system, can be empowered to create with Canva. Now, why is Canva free? Well, Canva has a two-step plan. One is to build the most valuable company in the world. And two, the most good that we can through initiatives like supporting education and nonprofit programs. But even beyond that, here at Canva, we believe that education is a human right and should be accessible for all. Our founders were both educators and they know the power that educators hold. They've made it their mission to ensure that no matter where a person lives in the world, they're empowered to design anything and have access to equitable resources. We have worked with hundreds of educators worldwide. And the one thing that we found to be unique about Canva is that it gives students and teachers a skill set that goes beyond K-12 landscape. It contributes to workforce readiness. Canva fosters those 21st century skills of teamwork and collaboration, creativity, flexibility, and it's quickly becoming an industry standard design tool that is used across a variety of industries all around the world. And you'd be surprised, some of your favorite companies, organizations are using Canva today. So that means that Canva goes beyond the classroom and is a tool that you can use for the rest of your life. Anything from your grandma using it to an entrepreneur creating it for their own business. All right, well, it's that time. Let's go ahead and kick things off. We'll talk through our new education features followed by a demo of each one, introduce new teaching resources, and we'll end today's webinar with a Canva tip for your classroom, or as I like to call it, Canvify your resource. You can follow along with the guidebook linked in the chat or linked in the YouTube description for those of you who are joining us and watching on demand. Let's kick it off with our what's new features. Today, we're gonna dive into flowchart updates, sort stickies, and summarize with Magic Write. First up, curve your flowchart lines. Did you know that Canva has whiteboards? 
where you can unleash your creativity, collaborate seamlessly, whether you're brainstorming, strategizing, or planning a project, our infinite workspace makes teamwork and collaboration not only easier, but more enjoyable and engaging. Perfect for students and educators, it's the ultimate tool for bringing your best ideas to life. Now, with Canva's latest flowchart updates, you can enhance your flowcharts with curved lines for easier readability. Just click and pull to map out connections and transform them into an organized visual flow. Now, let me show you how. And here I am in one of my most favorite places to be, the whiteboard. It's an infinite space where you can collaborate and connect and probably one of my favorite tools to use in the classroom. Let's kick it off with Today, I'm going to create a classification chart for what the difference is between a square and a rectangle. So I'm going to name this, is it a square? I'm going to come up here. And I love this. I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to go to effects. And I'm just going to give it a little background. I'm going to change. And I'm going to change the color coming from my Canva brand kit, actually. I'm going to highlight the colors. And I'm just going to change the text of it. Amazing. How great is that? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the R on my keyboard and I'm going to create a square. I can also come over to the elements tab and I can find elements specifically for whiteboards like graphics, or I can just find shapes here, or I can use sticky notes if I'd like. But in today, talking about our flowchart updates, it's important for us to stick with shapes. So I'm going to click here and now I'm going to put my text is are there four sides. And I'm going to click this little arrow here and now I'm going to get another shape. So are there four sides? And are the sides are there two pair Rollel sides. And now I'm going to put here, are there four sides? If there are, yes. If there isn't, I'll put no. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this shape over. I'm going to click on this line and I'm going to click here on the line type. And when I click on the line type, I can get curve and you can see anywhere that I move this. Now my line moves with this. You can also format this text here. You can make it larger. You can make it smaller. You can make it however you want. Now I went ahead and I put one together already. So are there four sides? Yes. And then I go through the whole flow of how you can do a comparison of it. Is it a square or is it a rectangle? I also added some elements here, as you can see from my elements tab, and I formatted the text here and I have a really nice looking flowchart that I can use and have my students create on comparing if it's a square or if it's a rectangle. And there's a lot of possibilities of using this in your classroom. Okay, moving on to sort stickies. How many of you have spent countless hours scanning sticky notes after a staff brainstorm or student brainstorm session? I know I have. What if I told you it could be easier and I could save you some time? Well, you're in luck. No more time spent manually organizing your sticky notes. With Sort, you can effortlessly uncover your big ideas. Thanks to AI, you can quickly group sticky notes by color, name, or topic, making lesson planning and brainstorming sessions smoother and more efficient. Let me demonstrate how. Here, I have pulled out a design from our template library, and I've had students fill out a brainstorm on the advantages and disadvantages to starting the day later and ending the day later. So my students have went in and they brainstorm and they put their thoughts and feelings on the advantages and disadvantages. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my sticky notes and then I'm gonna click on the magic AI sort. I can sort by topic, I can sort by color and I can sort by name. Today I'm gonna sort by topic because that's really what I'm looking for. I have the topics here. I can do that with both the advantages and the disadvantages so I can quickly identify the key themes that have been discussed in this brainstorming session. Just how cool was that? All within an instant, I could sort, know the topics, and that is going to save me so much time. 
All right, let's move on to our next feature. Summarize text in any design with Magic Write. Now, we're going to move on to one of my favorite updates, and that's summarizing text with Magic Write. I know that when I was in the classroom, I spent so much manual time trying to summarize documents, whether from a staff meeting, maybe parent-teacher conferences, or even just looking at a required reading that we had to read. You know, all those boring updates when back-to-school time rolls around. Well, around here, we're all about saving teachers time. And using Magic Write, you can now summarize any text with a single click. Let's explore how to do this. So here I have an infographic on an understanding genre. This is something that I have created and I want to be able to easily captivate this summary for my parents. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight the text. I'm going to select magic, right? And I'm in an infographic. You can do this in a Canva doc. You could do this in a whiteboard. You can do this in any design in Canva. And now I'm just going to click, click create summary. And within an instant, I have a summary. I can easily identify, share this with parents, and there's no more need for me to spend hours creating a summary when I can just do it all within one simple click. How cool is that? All right, now let's move on to some teaching resources that will make using Canva even easier. Canva's been hard at work and is always hard at work creating resources we think that you're going to love, and we won't keep you in suspense any longer. With our educator resources, you can level up your lessons and engage every student. Let's kick it off with our primary or elementary teacher work kits. It's everything that you need as a teacher in Canva to level up your lessons and engage every student. These are geared specifically towards elementary, but many of the resources are going to be accessible and usable for all K-12 educators. And we've done the hard work for you and combed through the best of all of our templates to create a best-in-class collection. So let me show you how. When you're in Canva, click on templates and you click on work kits. Navigate through your selected work kit, click on elementary teachers, and here you will see a first in class selection from learning the basics with tips on how to do things like producing a podcast to our teacher essential certification course, which we'll discuss in just a little bit here, to how to use the templates by grade and subject and how to use Magic Write. Then we dive into the goodies of teacher-led instruction, guided practice, independent practice, which is my favorite category, socio-emotional learning, project-based, also my second, and my, my most love actually is planning by using Magic Write to create lesson plans and scope and sequences all within a quick click of a button. There's also some apps that are loved by our teachers and some handy dandy resources to make creating in Canva easier for you and to save you time. There's also some teaching resources and some videos. Oh, look, you might even see a surprise the person that you may know. <laughs> All created just for you in one easy location. One of my favorite resources though is this independent practice area where you'll find a learning journal. One of my favorite things about the classroom is when students say that they've lost their notebook or their dog ate it, which before when I didn't have a dog, I didn't know that that was actually a thing, but it can be. So what if you could have a digital learning journal that your students could share with you and that can grow continuously over time? Did you know that a Canva presentation can have up to 300 pages in it? How cool is that? Enough space to captivate your students' learning throughout an entire school year. Did you know that my team in the Canva Design School, that we're constantly creating resources to help empower you and help you level up your creativity. We just released three new Canva cheat sheets, which you'll find in your workbook of Canva presentations, a deep dive into video editing, and goal setting for your students. All resources designed to empower and give you the skills within a quick look for how to do your best work in Canva. Now we're moving on to my favorite part, and that's to Canvify your resource. Try this handy hack from Canva educators. We'll share handy tips and tricks to make your life even easier. We know teachers are pressed for time, so this part of the webinar is designed to show you how to streamline creating and sharing information using insights from our team. So let's explore one of my favorite Canva smashes, and that's grab text and translate. I don't know about you, but when I was in the classroom, I had so many students who were from various language backgrounds, and that meant that their parents were too. 
I found myself chasing down the different translators to be able to communicate not only with my students, but with their parents. Well, now we can make your life even easier with this combo. Let me show you how. And here I have a photo that was taken from the museum. And now I'm going to click on edit and I'm going to grab the text. And it's going to take a moment for AI to identify the text. And I can go ahead and click on the sections that I would like to grab. And here I just said all text and I'm going to click grab. <laughs> Instantly, my image has turned into editable text. So first I'm going to go ahead and format this text. I'm going to make it all the same type of font. And now that I have my text, I am now going to click on each of these text boxes and I am going to go and I'm going to go to right click and I'm going to click on translate text. Now, Spanish, because I'm located in Texas, is the language that I'm going to choose. You can choose any language that you would like and you can also choose the tone of voice. This is already an informational piece, so I'm just going to leave it as is. And then I'm just going to go ahead and translate. Once I do, it's going to produce a page for me and it's going to say translate. It's going to say the version of the language that has been translated and voila, now mine has been translated. And you'll see here, it says Spanish at the bottom. And now what I've done is I've just taken it and reformatted it in, and I went to the element library. So I can go to the element library here and I can do art or artwork, I could do graphics, and I can find some collections of art, and I can add them here to my design. So within a click of a button, I was able to take some text from a museum that we visited, and I was able to translate it. If I really wanted to level this up, I could also use Magic Write to create a summary of that exhibit and share it with my parents using what we learned earlier. How cool is that? Probably one of my most handy dandy hacks. Now we're not done quite yet. If you haven't done so, we would love for you to join our community. No matter where you are around the world, we have a community for you. You're welcome to join our Facebook community where we love for teachers to share resources, ideas, and our community managers are always updating you with the latest and greatest from Canva. Community is a huge part of the work that we do here at Canva. If you haven't done so, please follow us on X at Canva EDU. Share with us your Canva love, your Canva tips. We'd love to see the work that you're doing and designing and creating in the classroom. And it's our favorite way to highlight and share the work that you do. We also have some helpful resources. Did you know that there's been a glow up at Canva? Now you can enjoy a fresh, more focused Canva. A refresh Canva making it easier to use for you. We also have some handy dandy resources and events always happen in Canva. Be sure to check and explore out some of our Canva resources and Canva events. We also have resources specifically tailored for educators. Our design school, my team, has been hard at work creating educator tutorials, design playbooks, student resources, and so much more to empower you to do your best work with Canva. We also recently launched a teacher essentials course. This is a self-paced course to certify yourself in Canva skills. In just 60 minutes, you can learn how to use Canva for education in all of that you do in the classroom. And if you missed any of our previous webinars, we do have a Canva what's new in Canva for teams. So be sure to check that out and explore everything that's been happening in Canva on a regular basis. And we'd like to wrap things up today with bringing Canva to your school or district. Check out the link in our chat to learn how to bring Canva to your school, district, or ministry of education today. Thank you so much for spending time with us. We really enjoyed learning from you and being able to show you all that you can do in Canva to level up and empower you to have the resources that you need to use Canva in your classroom and with your students. And we just wanna thank you so much for attending. And if you're catching up on demand, thank you for also spending extra time with us. We can't wait to see you all soon. Thank you so much. Happy designing. See you soon. Bye.